Yo, what's going on, y'all? So I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with a video. This one is going to be about making money on YouTube in 2024 because it is definitely still possible. There's more opportunity. It's more lucrative than ever before, and I think that a lot of people are starting to be interested in making YouTube channels and making YouTube content and making money from YouTube, but don't really know how to go about it, don't really know how much information is real, fake, and stuff like that. So we're going to dive into it. I'm going to be telling you all some some general information and showing you all beside, behind the scenes of a channel, a channel that I built. This channel has over 300,000 subscribers. It has like 80 million views or something like that. And you'll be able to see some of the earnings and, and how much money I've made in certain aspects and stuff like that. We'll deep dive that in future videos. So be sure to subscribe if you all are interested in seeing inside the analytics and more so behind the scenes of exactly how the channel was built. But I'm gonna give you all an overall general view and general tips just to get started. Because the most important thing is that you just get started. Um, I think so many people are told, oh, don't do that. You won't be successful at that. You you get a real job, do, do this, do that. And while you should probably have a, a main source of income, you should be working on something else to buy your time. You, when you have a regular job, it gives you the freedom to do YouTube without the stresses that comes with having to pay your bills from doing YouTube, because there are stresses, especially in the beginning. Um, but my, my biggest piece of advice to people who would start a YouTube channel, it would be to really do it based around something that you're passionate about, because you'll understand that community more than anything. That's the most important part. The most important part is understanding the community because then you can make the content that that community actually wants to see. Because if you're not making content that people would like to see, you're not gonna to get too far because no one is gonna watch your videos. What happens on YouTube is this new algorithm. It takes content that people would like to see and it, it puts your videos around those videos. But if you're not making a video that anyone would want to see, if you're being too original, things like that, YouTube won't really know where to place your content, so it may not see whoever you're intending that that video is for, which is why the whole super original route isn't really the route to go. And if you see, oh, there's a ton of creators in this in this um, area, so I probably won't grow there. That's probably the wrong ma mindset to have because if you do a good job, you create good content there, that's the best place to be because now YouTube has a bunch of other content to put your video by so you can get views from a bunch of other different creators. So that's pretty much how the platform works. Everyone has a shot and chance at actually going viral or getting some views and getting some success these days. It's like if you whoever makes the good the good videos, that's really what it comes down to. So I'm known for reactions, some of the easier content people say to make. But I mean, honestly, to have the confidence and to give a reaction and to be able to give thoughtful insights on things, it takes a lot of experience. And a lot of people don't realize how much goes into being able to be a reactor. But I'm showing you all this part of the channel just so you all can see that reactions is not where I actually started. Um, where I started was actually informative tips and tricks videos. I built my name and reputation making tips videos. As you can see, this is where it all started for me. I made tip videos. I was actually going to quit YouTube and then I posted this video and you see what this video did. And that's when I'm like, whoa. Then I posted this video. I'm like, oh, that didn't do too bad either. Then. As you can see, this is where it started. This, this this is my first videos posted. And it quickly, it quickly turned into something, yeah, I, I could have never imagined. Um, and yeah, so you have to, like I said, you have to give people what's missing. At this point in time, this game had just come out and there wasn't anyone really making content about, about this game. There wasn't anyone really talking about what was going on and I filled that void. I, I was the one making the content on that stuff. Now, fast forward, a lot of the, um, a lot of my most popular videos, after going through the stage where I was helping and I began, I became more known, built a reputation. Then a lot of my opinions and thoughts started to become respected, and that allowed me to transition over into a different type of content where it's still opportunity. Now, I, obviously, I can still make tips and tricks videos and things like that, um, but also that's what allowed me to push into doing more so reaction based content where now you can see I started to get a lot of my views here and actually some of my tips and tricks videos also are up here as well. So that just goes to show you, um, it, it, it really is. I didn't even know they, they unmonetized that one, but yeah, that, but that happens. Like it really is very simple to grow. Just make the videos that people need to see the information that people will be searching for. So there's a certain type of content. It's called evergreen content. Tips and tricks videos, people will always want to know how to improve in the game. 
people will always want to know how to become better. So you have to think and you have to kind of put that to your niche, put that to your category. So if you're in finance, people will always want to know how to improve their credit, how to get out of debt fast, how to do certain things. Like it's very simple. You make how to videos, then when you're respected, it opens doors and new opportunities for you to do other things and your opinion will still be respected. But you have to come in and start out bringing the people value, bringing people an extreme amount of value, like straight value, like so much value to the point where you don't even matter. That's how you, that, or that, that's the only advice I can give. That's how I did it. The, these tip, my tips and tricks videos had very little to do with me outside of me sharing it from my experience. And it, it all had to do with the best thing to do in the game. And it was very little about me. Then as people started to like me, appreciate me, I was able to start going into, oh, this player is so good, he has to be banned type of content. And people cared, people, people were listening. And obviously I have controversial titles where, oh, must see banned and, and stuff like that. But I mean, that, that was just around this time. That was 2020. That, that was the trend around this time. Let's see, well, how much money did I make on this one at that time? So this one, um, this is not a great CPM, but listen, to be able to just talk about one of my favorite games and, you know, to, to just talk about, about one of my favorite game and make $737, like, come on, come on. Like this, this is, this is, this is easy. Now, as you can see, this is a 48 cents RPM. This is horrible on YouTube, a, a RPM this low. To put it into perspective, I have channels with this over $10, which means RPM, that's how much how much you make per thousand views. So yeah, like <laughs> I have channels literally 10 times better than this and, and even better than that. So yeah, that, that being said, this, this is, but it, to just to play one of my favorite games or to talk about one of my favorite games and to check out the content and watch it with the community, that's great. Like you get something. A lot of people do this for free and you can do one of your favorite things in the world and get a little bit of income from it. That's amazing. That's a blessing. And I think that so many people get talked out of their blessings like, oh, go get a real job. Go do this. Go do that. And they it makes them turn away from these opportunities that could really, that could really change your life forever because- what people talk about how money is the root of all evil, but the fact of the matter is the the only people willing to pursue money relentlessly are evil people. If the good people started to pursue money and actually learn the tricks and learn these things, then that would simply make it so now good people have money. Money is just an amplifier. Money is not this bad thing. It's not some bad thing to go for. And I, that's why I try to live my life in a way where Anything that I do, I can make money from it. So I like this game. I want to make money from it. The new Call of Duty has come out. I have a channel where I post the new Call of Duty. I like to make money from it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of finance and money and becoming educated. That's why this channel right here that you're on, it's about money and finance and these type of opportunities. I, like I, I make money from being able to talk about the things that I care about. And I think that that's so important to, to adopt a mindset where anything you do in life, you can get paid for it. Because, I mean, why not? Life is not going to become cheap. It's cheaper. It's, it's Nothing's free in life. So why not, why not get paid for the things you do? If you enjoy cooking, if you enjoy trying new dishes and fixing it, why not record yourself making it? Why not talk about your recipes? Like, if you enjoy fixing cars, why not turn a camera on when, you're, when you fix a car? Like, no matter what you enjoy, it's someone else who enjoys to consume content and watch the type of content on the internet. So why wouldn't you do it? People want to talk down to people and make people feel bad for, oh, you trying to just be just another YouTuber. You trying to do this. You trying to do that. Don't fall for this. Just start posting. Start posting the stuff you're interested in. And before you know it, you'll be shocked because you'll get better at posting. You'll make more content people want to see. You'll learn to how to identify the different types of content people want to see. And, and let me know in the comment section if you are interested in learning exactly how to identify certain pieces of content certain communities would like to see. And 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 look for the little gaps that's missing where you can where you can fill in that gap with your content. If you want me to make a video showing you specifically how to do some of these things so you can maybe get some of the similar some some similar results to what I've been able to accomplish throughout my time on YouTube, let me know. I can go through it and, and walk you all through this. But yeah, this is this is one of my older channels that I still I still to this day I still post on this, man. Like 
And this is not a full time thing for me. This is not a full time job. I don't I don't want to be a full full time when it comes down to this game. That's not something that I want to do at all. So the fact that I'm able to play that game, look at that game, talk about that game when I want to, and still be able to put a little bit of extra money in my pocket from that game, it's a it's a blessing. It's a it's a huge deal. The fact that anything that I like doing in the world, I can put a little extra money in my pocket from doing that. While most people, they pay to do the things they enjoy doing. Me, I get paid to do the things that I enjoy doing. I think that it's a better way of life because it comes with more, it comes with a more stress-free approach to life. Like, I, I don't have a boss. I can't really be fired. Obviously, there's some rules and certain practices and stuff you have to, you know, abide by. But at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do when you want to do it, and you get a little bit of income from it. Everything doesn't have to be a million-dollar scale or million dollar opportunity but just to be able to put some money in your pocket from something like this like like think about it how much how much would you have to do at your at your job to to get some of the, um to make to make these earnings 450 dollars how long do you have to work at your job to get that i talked i talked in this video for 12 minutes i talked in this video for 12 minutes and made 450 dollars doing it like i talked for 12 minutes this video 737 i talked for 17 minutes and and that that's what that's what I, that was what was made. This video, lifetime. Let's see, seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. I talked in this video for eleven minutes. Like, th this is the power of YouTube. That that's exactly what what anyone can do. You can talk about your favorite things. You can give your opinions on your favorite things that you already care about, and you can get paid hundreds of dollars to do it. What what? Who wouldn't want to do that? So don't let anybody trick you out of your position and trick you out of wanting to become a content creator because million, there's millions and millions and billions of people on social media and very few people get paid to do that. You can easily become one of the few people being paid to do it. Now don't go in and approach the situation like you're gonna be a million dollar earner overnight or something like that. Don't approach it with that mindset. If you approach it with that mindset of, I wanna do something fun, and then I can do something that I enjoy doing and put a little bit of money in my pocket at the exact same time that I'm doing something else, something that I like to do. You're looking at it that way. Everything, it's, it's a positive. It's, it's always a positive, a plus. Because you would, I would be playing this game regardless of if I was getting paid. So the fact that I get to get paid and play this game, I get to get paid and watch this game, I get to get paid. Like that is so many pluses, so many bonuses. It's, it's such a, it's, it's a great experience and a, um, it's an honor. It's an honor to be able to do that. And all it takes is you bringing people value, getting your name out there, building up your reputation. And, you know, um, you could do it too in any any field, any industry. So go for your passions. Like, go for your passions. Do the things that makes you happy because someone else will see that within you and and they'll, they'll enjoy your content. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. If you have any videos or ideas that you want me to speak a little bit more about or dive into or some things that you all would like to see throughout my channel analytics or something like that where I can help maybe give you a little bit more insights and, and motivate you a little bit more, um, we can definitely do that because th this videos like this is definitely for motivation. It's for motivation and just to show you all that it's possible. Like people say, oh, gaming's a waste of time. For most people it is. For, for people like me, not so much because this, this is hours. Like I can talk for 10 minutes and this is the potential of what can happen. There's no there's no limit on where, where your videos can go, how much money your content can make. So you never know what can happen. Like you, you start posting your content, on do something on the side. Like when you play the game, you start recording yourself, then you start just posting your gameplay. You never know where you'll be in a year or two and how much money you'll be bringing in just from doing what you were always already going to be doing regardless. So yeah, let me know y'all thoughts. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.